8.33 on a Sunday night. You wouldn't know Rob Hill if you walked past him. You wouldn't know that his job every day, even at 8.33 on a Sunday night, is to keep your life safe. Whether testing sirens, or being the voice without a face on emergency broadcasts. This is the Stillwater Office of Emergency Management. It's all something he knows you take for granted. I would like to think that we do such a good job that they can put it out of their mind, but at the same time, I really don't think they know what all is involved as far as what we do to ensure their safety. An event that may affect the typical household three or four hours in the evening may affect us 24 hours. There are many times, you know, we come to work expecting things are going to be bad. We sit here for five or six hours waiting for it, it never materializes. You go home, take an hour nap, you get up and come back and do it all over again the next night. So, yeah, I don't think they understand, but at the same time, I think when they don't, we've done our job. So, how does Hill get by on those days or weeks where he's constantly at the office? Coffee and pop are very big, <laughs> yeah. and. Uh, we really like the places that deliver pizza. And why not? As it's been 18 years since a tornado swept through Stillwater, and 1975 was the last devastating damage done to the town. So, what explanation is there for this safe haven in the middle of Tornado Alley? It's luck of the draw. I mean, you know, it's just everybody gets their turn, and maybe this year's our year. Who knows? <laughs> we don't want it to be, but it could be our turn. Even with the three emergency coordination and communication center rooms, and all the hard work of Hill, his boss, volunteers and spotters in the field, they can't make you prepare yourself for severe weather. The biggest challenge that I have, or that I feel that I have, is feeling responsible for 60 plus thousand people. Those people either have not ever been affected and don't have any desire to learn, have the mentality that it'll never happen to me, or just don't care. Sometimes I, I feel a little overwhelmed with all that responsibility. Those people's lives hang on the decisions that we make. And making the right decisions for your safety is just another way that he and his staff are doing what it takes to protect Stillwater. I would just have to tell the citizens of Stillwater that we are doing absolutely everything in our power that we know how to do to keep them as safe and protected as possible. So the next time you wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of storms, remember where Rob Hill is. He's protecting your life. Jeff Tarrant, SJB News.